everybody. It is Wednesday, March 6th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. We have a great show to help get you over the hump. So coming up on this Wellness Wednesday, we are talking about the Sleepy Girl Mocktail. Yep, I actually use this. I have hopped on the viral trend, and for me, it actually works. But does it really? Is it all just my imagination? We're actually going to be talking to a doctor about the perks and benefits live. And are you still looking for a spring break destination? We have got you covered. Friend of the show, Janine Tornator. She's going to be joining us to share some of her picks for travel this spring season. And to celebrate Women's History Month, we're joined by another good friend of the show, Houston historian Mr. McKinney and the history bus. He is going to be sharing how we can celebrate and learn about some iconic Houston women on the Houston history bus. Bus. That and more is headed your way. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. All right, so I showed you a little bit about it. With all of the hustle and bustle, I don't know about you all, but it's really hard to get a good night's sleep, especially for me. My mind never shuts off. So what I decided was to hop on this trend. It's actually gone viral, one that claims it can put you to sleep. That's how desperate I am to get some Zs. So it's called the Sleepy Girl Mocktail. Thousands of people filmed themselves, including yours truly, trying out this viral drink that mainly consists of magnesium powder and tart cherry juice topped with a probiotic soda or soda water. Now, here's a look back at when I tried it out. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to try it because I've had a hard time sleeping. And then I saw one recipe you could add some elderberry syrup to help you not get sick, as you can tell from my voice. That might not have done anything. <laughs> but uh, have you tried this, Ido? I have never heard of it. So interesting, I was um, in a bad car accident. I was hit by a drunk driver, and oh. my, when I, it's been a couple of years. Um, my mom, my back got injured. She read all about the health benefits of tart cherry juice. And it's tart. So I used to try it for that, and it would help. It's supposed to help muscles and all of that. Yeah. Well, then uh, Lou and I, she, you know, Lou gets me on TikTok. Producer <laughs> Lou. So I saw this and I was like, you know, I'm desperate. My mind doesn't shut off. Uh -huh. I'm going to try it. So what yeah. I do is you take uh, the tart cherry juice. Uh -huh. Magnesium's the key. And I do two teaspoons of the magnesium. Two teaspoons? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I do two teaspoons of elderberry syrup, which kind of sweetens it, but it's good for you too. Uh -huh. And then you do a half a cup. And I'll put this on if you guys are interested. Let me know. Um, I do have a cup of the tart cherry juice. I mix it together with my frother, do a little ice, and then you top it off. I do like a lime um, sparkling soda. You can do a probiotic. You can even do a tonic uh -huh. water if you want. And then they, I drink it out of my straw because <laughs> it makes me feel fancy. <laughs> you looked very cute. Thank you very much. Um, and I tried it, and honestly, it does help. Does it? Really? I think like, so. Do you think you were just so tired from the day that it knocked you out? Or you definitely think it was the mocktail? So, you know, I've been struggling with whatever this is. Uh -huh. And I, I haven't been able to drink it because my throat wasn't feeling good. So I haven't drank it and I haven't been sleeping the past couple nights. So I don't know. Hmm. But it's also the ritual. Now, I will say it's kind of a pain to make. It does sound like a pain. <laughs> it's a lot going can, on. Can I told just... my mom, I was like, and to find that tart cherry juice? Was it hard? I got mine at Trader Joe's. Then they were out of it and stuff. But I don't know. But when you did try it. Yeah, and I've been doing it for almost a month now, I think. Really? Okay. Yeah. So do you automatically get knocked out? No. So I just feel like it kind of calms me a little bit. Uh huh. And so what I do is after May's bath time and I get her bottle ready. Okay. Then I kind of just, we sit with, you know, she plays and all of that. And I drink it, kind of sip on it. Then I give her her bedtime story and do all of that. And then, yeah. So really? I, I don't know. Is and it a placebo? I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, my, my issue what is. What do you do? Yeah. I don't do anything. I do allergy medicine. Oh, see, I can't. Because my, yeah, my allergy medicine sometimes knocks me out. Some of them really knock me out and some of them don't. Um, but I'm really interested because my brain doesn't shut off at night. Neither like, I'm, I'm still thinking of, like, all the things I need to do, all the things I didn't get to do, mm -hmm. the guilt from the day that's all way, yes. like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you, you go to bed and you're like, did I spend enough time with my kids today? Oh, I, I or, told you, yeah, I went to the doctor mm -hmm. yesterday because of this, and I wanted a shot just to get better, and he's mm -hmm. like, you have chronic stress, and you're not sleeping good. And I'm like, well, I'm trying this sleepy girl mocktail. <laughs> like, I'm doing my best. 
And I mean, I just started crying because we're trying. It's a lot. It is. And our immune systems are down and yeah. my brain does not shut off. I think it's a, I don't know, guys, do your brain shut off? Do men? My husband actually has to fall asleep to TV. Same with uh, Hefe. Because or else his brain won't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Sleep is like, and then it's I watch terrible. man. Like, when does it happen where we stop sleeping? I don't know. But, like, I, I wake up multiple times in the night, too. Me, too. Well, try this. Okay. Try it. Okay. Can I'll do this in some unisom, and then I maybe I'll get to kind of sleep. <laughs> I'll do anything at this rate, because I'm the girl that can't take NyQuil. I have the opposite reaction. Oh, my husband, too. The dextromethorphan in it, my husband can't take that. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> All right. Well, we're going to talk to your doctor <laughs> okay, about that. Good. So that and more is headed your way at a spring break destination after the break. Funny Kids, Friday at 9.30, 8.30 Central. When the insurance company tells you that you don't need a lawyer, then you probably need a lawyer. If you've been injured in an accident, call us for a free consultation at 1-800-JUSTICE. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week. Up to eight days a month. And guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. Scan the code and save with Flex Your Credits. Reliant, that's power. Your way. I feel good. Na, 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 na. I knew that I would. Na, 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 na. Ooh, yum. Hey. hey. I feel good. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smile say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. Great value, high quality, happy patients, lives changed. Call today. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. Waiting for the right time to buy a hardwood floor? Well, check this out. One room of beautiful hardwood flooring completely installed for just $999. That's right. And this isn't just any hardwood. This is genuine Mohawk hardwood, the most trusted name in flooring. Call National Floors Direct at 888-400-FLOOR and get an entire room of Mohawk hardwood installed the next day for just $999. No interest for one year. Transform your home for just $999. We bring the store to your door. Bazinga! That was one of my classic jokes. Feel free to laugh. You need to put some stank on this. <laughs> around the corner. The month of March is one of the busiest months for travel destinations. So where do you want to turn if you want to get away during this peak season? Well, friend of the show and travel expert, Janine Tornator, she's actually joining us to share some of her picks for travel this spring season. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Great to be here. Yes, let me just start with where I am today, which is one of my picks for you. It's Tucson, Arizona. This is such a fun town with so much to do here. I'm actually standing on top of the roof of one of the most historic hotels here. The Hotel Congress built in 1919 is actually where they captured John Dillinger. So lots of cool history here, but right here in downtown, you're going to find history, culture, fantastic restaurants outside of town. It's all about wellness. There are so many great world renowned 
spa resorts here. So that's a fantastic option. But also what I love about this destination, not only is the weather perfect, it's surrounded by five mountain ranges. So it is an outdoor adventure mecca from mountain biking, hiking, climbing, horseback riding. And then one of my other favorite kind of uh, tourism trends right now is stargazing. And this yeah. is the place to do it. They're actually home to Dark Sky International. There are a couple of great observatories outside of town that have really immersive experiences. One of them even has two of the largest public telescopes in the Southwest. So really cool place just to take in everything about the wonderful Sonora Desert here. I absolutely love it there. And your other destination, it's my home state of Colorado. So tell me a bit about this. <laughs> yeah, so you'll know why this is such a great hidden gem. Grand Junction, Colorado on the western side of the state. I love it because you can actually go skiing in the morning and you can go golfing in the afternoon. Yeah. It's one of those rare dual climate destinations. So you have Powderhorn Ski Resort with all the great uh, you know, snow activities. But in the springtime, you can really do both. And it's also home to Colorado National Monument, which a lot of people call the mini Grand Canyon. Beautiful, stunning view there. You've got Rattlesnake Canyon where you can hike through all the great arches. Um, and in town, it's such a great, charming destination. There's great distilleries and breweries. There's even wineries. It's a great area for wine country. Some fantastic hotels and restaurants. One of my favorite distilleries, actually Highland Distillery, even has its own on-site lavender farm. But there's so much to do in this area. It's a really great spring pick. Oh, it's making me homesick seeing all of those videos. <laughs> now, I love a good <laughs> tropical escape. Escape. Give me a beach with a good book. <laughs> Yep. Well, let me tell you, this is a hard time of year to do it if you're waiting till the last minute because, you know, the Caribbean, Florida, all those destinations are pretty booked up and expensive right now. My recommendation, if you want to get that tropical experience, is to take a cruise in the spring season. And in fact, right there in Galveston, of course, Carnival just launched the brand new Jubilee ship. Um, last week, they actually named Gwen Stefani as the godmother of the ship. So, you know, look, being close to some great ports like Galveston is really going to be your best option for getting that experience because you know you get on these ships you have all this great family fun and then you stop in some of the most best tropical cruise ports you can imagine so you really get kind of the best of both worlds that great family experience on the ship and you get those beach destinations i should also mention that carnival in april is launching their second italian themed ship the firenze out of Ooh. long beach in california so anyone headed that way that's another fantastic thing to add on to your vacation and then look i always mention when i'm talking cruising of course it's it's great for this spring as well, April and May, but look ahead if you're thinking you want to cruise fall, winter, Carnival's already taking bookings into 2026. Whoa. And they're also adding a brand new Bahamian destination called Celebration Key coming next year. So there's lots to look forward to in the cruise industry. You guys just happen to be lucky enough to be so close to a great cruise port itself. And it's so nice because we don't have to fly anywhere. We can just drive there. Exactly. It helps with expense. Well, where can we go for more and to keep up with all of your adventures? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is The Outside Insider. Well, I always appreciate having you on the show and enjoy Arizona. I will. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. And Edo, she was talking about the cruise. You're kind of a big deal. That was the cruise you were just on. Technically, no, I'm oh. looking into the Jubilee for next in two years. So what were you on? I was on the Norwegian Prima. Oh. Oh. But I will tell you, yeah, the Jubilee looks amazing. So they have a roller coaster that goes over the edge, and then they have like water slides down the center. Like it looks so, so cool. Plus, some of the cabins already come with bottomless beverages. What? Hello. So I know you were anti, you were kind of like, eh, cruises. Yes. I've never been on a cruise. I'm a little bit hesitant. And then like my mom's like, I've seen all those murder shows. Yes. It pushes you over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend, did you like it? I loved it. I really did. I, really? I, I was apprehensive as well. I was part of that. My husband's going to push me over for the insurance yeah. money. <laughs> That's like I know he's going to do that. <laughs> and then we actually came back in a thunderstorm and I was like, we're going, we're going down. We're going down. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it was it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, the cruise directors they make it so much fun for everybody, kids, adults. We played bingo, deal or no deal. We even won money. So you did? yeah, we won forty bucks on oh deal gosh, or no that's deal. Amazing.
<laughs> I mean, and for kids, it's all right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we, we had the splash pad, we have a wave pool, plus all the ports. Oh my god. That's gosh. what's a lot of fun, is going down the ship and into those ports. Well, next, you were early, so next week is spring break. How is spring break looking? I'm, I'm headed out to the rodeo, May's first rodeo on Monday. Okay, so long-term temperature-wise, it looks like it's going to be warmer. I was looking at the uh, Climate Control, uh, Climate Prediction Center, and it looks like they're going to have us as a little bit warmer for next week. Okay. But we really can't see when it comes to showers exactly when it's going to hit where. But we do know we have a cold front coming in for the weekend. Okay. Temperature-wise, we'll see what it does to us in our seven-day forecast. But first, I want to talk about this, Maggie, because okay. I can hear it. In my voice, the yes. allergies, I know. Yes. I'm not contagious, everybody. Don't freak out. No, but. she's not. But trees right now that tree pollen is at a very high level that's the highest level we've got coming out of the Houston uh, department uh, that monitors pollen in our area right now grass and mold those are at medium but if you have a ragweed allergy right now that's not registering it's it's a really fancy weed that I'm not even gonna pretend that I know how to say it but uh, it starts with a no so if you're allergic to a grass that starts with an O that's what you're feeling this morning. Uh, as for weeds, that's going to be at low right now. So let's talk about how much pollen is in the air. Okay, so we're going to talk about cubic meter of air. So I want you to imagine a cube with the lengths at one meter. So we're looking at how much pollen is in that cube with the sides that are a meter long. And look at this, Maggie. Ugh. Yeah, this is why we're all suffering. So late February, we start to climb into the 800 range, mm -hmm. but now we're 1100 plus right now in the pollen that is in that cubic meter of air. So that's why so many people are suffering right now. And we're going to continue to see this for the next couple of days because we are in the height of cedar season. So if you can, I'm a big proponent of a kennel lock shot. I've I had know. it done. You, it sounds like something a dog gets, like a kennel cough shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. When I was in Idaho and it was grain season and I was dying, yeah. that's the only thing that saved me. I got a steroid shot yesterday because I was like, mama yep. needs something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and real sounds real good right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. I hope I don't sneeze throughout the show. Well, we were just talking about this, you know, the trend that has gone viral and claims that can it, it can put you to sleep. The sleepy girl mocktail, like all trends, it has faced some hiccups. So to see if it actually supports a good night's sleep, we are joined by expert Dr. Nicole Avina. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm excited to talk to you because I've been using the sleepy girl mocktail. Yeah, it's all the rage right now. I feel like a lot of people who are trying it are loving it. And then some people are like, eh, I don't know if it's really working for me. So does it work or am I just like part of this bandwagon? No, I think that you are not part of this bandwagon. <laughs> I actually think that there is <laughs> there is some evidence that it can work for some people. I think one of the things that makes it great is if you can make it a part of your nightly ritual, like your nightly routine, instead of maybe going for that glass of wine, if you could swap this mocktail in, it could be a great way to help you wind down. And what really I think is the active component in it is that magnesium powder. And that's a great supplement that you can incorporate before bedtime because it can really help to promote quality sleep. Okay, speaking of that magnesium powder, I've been making this, I saw the trend, I got all my ingredients. But there's so many. How do I know what kind of magnesium powder to get? Yeah, it's a great question. There's so many options on the market. It's really sometimes hard to know what is the best form for promoting sleep. And so magnesium glycinate is the best form for sleep support because it is known to be really easy on the stomach. And so you want to make sure that you're choosing a supplement that's made with high quality ingredients. One of the ones that I recommend is by Jaro Formulas. They're a company that I partner with. They have a magnesium called Soothing Night, which is really great because it's a sleep blend that can help to promote relaxation and also restful sleep and it has two different forms of bioavailable magnesium and so you also want to make sure that you're you know looking for something that's convenient and it's going to be an easy way in which you can incorporate it into whether it's your sleepy girl mocktail or you know whatever routine you have for going to bed easier yeah because I've never been one to be able to have a glass of wine to calm down I don't know if it's the sugar but I can't sleep if I drink so that was already out I really have been liking this um, I will say though it gets a little bit expensive have you found that is there something else we could be doing too <laughs> yeah I think that if it's 
working for you, that's great. But again, you know, you have to be mindful of the fact that like anything else, we don't really want to create these habits that are going to be costly. And, you know, at the end of the day, I think that it's really all about figuring out what you can do to wind down at the end of the night. So maybe you're using the mocktail a couple nights a week, maybe a few of the other nights of week, you're doing a little bit of reading before you go to bed, or maybe instead of using the tart cherry juice, which can be a little pricey, especially yeah. if you're getting, you know, the organic stuff, maybe, you know, ditch the juice altogether and actually maybe just add in a little bit of flavored seltzer water or flavored sparkling water instead. I've had people use that and they say it's great. So ways to tweak it, it doesn't have to be the exact recipe. It's really the magnesium part that's helping people to get that restful sleep though. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna try some of those tips. I'm telling you all, it's been working. Well, she is an award-winning author, international Christian counselor, and inspirational speaker. She is on a mission to inspire and shape a better future for our area youth. An educator for more than seven years working with special education children and as a PE instructor. Carissa Hubbard is one of our area's 2024 Remarkable Woman finalists. I have 11th and 12th graders, and I really feel like that's the age that really kind of understands and you can make the greatest impact on. From the classroom to the basketball court at Cypress Ranch High School, Carissa Hubbard is working to set up her students on a path towards success. Um, truly, this is where they're kind of defining who they're going to grow into, who they're going to become. This is kind of the last, like, hands-on before they go into the real world. And with her children's book series, The Popular Girl, she even reaches young girls and tweens. The Popular Girl is basically about a girl who creates the new norm for popularity by loving God and just being herself. She's, you know, experiencing life in different ways and growing, and so I just want to share ways that, you know, you can love God and still be cool. The Popular Girl has won Carissa the Top Expressionist Award from Broadcast Houston and the Most Outstanding Alumni Award from Arkansas Tech University, among other awards. From the books came the Popular Girl Conference, an event to encourage, empower, and equip the youth. Yes, they have motivational speakers, but the girls also do community service, like putting together toiletry kits for the homeless. I feel like God has blessed me, and I want to be a blessing to people. Somebody has to be lying. Either you're telling me the truth or you're not. Everything I'm telling is the honest to God truth. You guys have a lie detector? We're the lie detector. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Texas Quality Plumbing.com We fix faucets and sinks, toilets that leak, drains that back up, showers and tubs. We're Texas Quality Plumbing. We're gas lines, water heaters, yard drains, drain cleaners. Yeah, we're the plumbing pros. The trusted name that Houston knows. Texas Quality Plumbing.com. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. Hello, I'm Dr. Andre Lewis. Please join me in fellowship as we convey the light of Jesus Christ at New Faith Church each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. right here on Houston CW39. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. 
Hi, I'm Micah, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. When you sell to Micah, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. Every night at 9, the biggest stories of the day right here on CW39. Get up to the minute weather information, bringing you an hour-by-hour -hour forecast for the next day. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW39 every night. Certain things will always be funny. And I dare you not to laugh. Totally Funny Kids, Friday at 9.30, 8.30 Central. Creeping towards the bottom of the hour time now almost 926 and as we reach that halfway mark in the show let's check in with producer Lou hey girl hey oh my god I forgot I have a blanket on <laughs> it's so cold in uh, there let's just say we are paying the bills because the AC is definitely on this <laughs> well, that's, morning <laughs> that's a relief and there's Charlie all right Hi. guys so what is coming up on the show all right so I'm excited we're celebrating Women's History Month with good friend of the show Houston historian Mr. McKinney. You can find out how you can celebrate and learn about some iconic Houston women on the Houston History Bus. You were on it last year. That was so much fun. Yes. Today the weather is not it's not good, great to be outside, so we brought him in the studio. <laughs> yes, and it's so much fun. If you guys have not been on the Houston History Bus, it's amazing, and Mr. McKinney knows how to bring all of the different Houstonians together, so I'm excited to talk to him. Very. Um, so now, uh, also, we have, you know how, like, sometimes we have, like, the tech accessories or, like, gadgets that they look cool, but they're, like, super hard to use? Oh, yeah. Or, like, they're not functional at all. I'm right. thinking about the uh, Apple Vision Pro. Oh, <laughs> I've not tried it. I haven't either, but I, it just looks weird to me. Have you seen those viral videos of like people using it like at the subway or like no? Outside? They just like walk. It looks like a Black Mirror episode. Oh no, I can't. That would creep me out. Yeah. So we don't we don't want that. So we're actually <laughs> talking to the tech expert that brings us the latest on tech gadgets that make life easier. Okay. And yeehaw. Are we getting ready to rodeo? Did we lose you, Producer Lou? Oh, I think we lost her. All right. Let me know. Now we can hear. <laughs> Sometimes, so, technical issues. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's community day today at the Houston Rodeo, and Seth Kovar is out there. He's going to tell us how you can get in for free, but you have to hurry, Maggie, because you have until noon to do so. It's only, what, two hours away? Three okay. hours away? We better wrangle him in. Yeah. Let's see if he got an outfit. I told him I was going to take him shopping. I know. Does he? I think he has his polo shirt again. Probably. <laughs> oh, Seth. But he says we can't see his boots. Yeah. Conveniently. Yeah. And I mean, that's still a mystery. Is he wearing boots? We don't know. Hmm. We never Talk know. Talk about a tease. We'll check that's in with Seth him. Seth Kovar. Seth we'll with the out. good hair. <laughs> We're going to check in with him. Well, thank you, Producer Lou of and course. Charlie. I always love checking with you guys in on the booth. All right, stay tuned. The second half hour of Houston Happen starts after the break. deals from the greedy insurance company from your medical expenses to your lost wages the fight is on your call 713-777-4000 i'm bill adler i'm jim adler the, the texas, texas Mayor. Mayor. Are you tired of climbing in and out of that old bathtub the outdated colors or stains that won't budge then call statewide remodeling now during our 30th anniversary we are southeast texas's trusted local bath and shower remodeler a plus rated with the better business bureau Take a look at our easy access walk-in shower designs. Featuring a low entry shower base just inches from the floor with non-porous walls that naturally resist mold and mildew for easy cleaning. Expertly installed in as little as one day. Plus, take advantage of this special offer. It's our spring into savings sale. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower with 48 months, 0% interest, senior and military discounts, plus a bonus. Call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Oh, it's definitely increased the value of our home. Anybody, if we were to put the house up for sale, anybody walking in would just love it. They would fall in love with that shower. 
Statewide Remodeling is Southeast Texas's trusted local bath and shower remodeler. In business since 1994, installing traditional baths, walk-in showers, and walk-in tubs. Combine colors and patterns like breccia marble with a diamond pattern for an elegant touch or choose a timeless look with classic white walls and a subway tile pattern. And our walk-in tubs feature a low step in plus relaxing hydrotherapy jets. All of our baths and showers are American made and we ensure a quality installation in as little as one day. It's a great time to call during our spring into savings sale. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower with 48 months, 0% interest, senior and military discounts. Plus, be sure you call during this program for the bonus. Receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with estimate. Call 1-800-510-0874. That's 1-800-510-0874. Failing to correct the unreasonably dangerous conditions, which are creating a lack of supervision and proper operating policies in the premises. You can beat kids. Let me speak for you. My name's Drew Bavono, and I am the voice for kids. Tonight, catch a new episode of Wild Cards at 8, 7 central on The CW. Hurt from a bad wreck. I'll fight hard to land the benefits you deserve. Medical and hospital bills. Lost wages, car, truck repair. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, got your back. Call now for a free case evaluation. Well, it's Women's History Month, and it's become a tradition to celebrate with friend of the show, Mr. McKinney. Thank you for waking up with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm so excited to always be here. This is a lot of fun to talk about women's history. I mean, we have been celebrating this a long time, and you always know how to bring local women together. What I find interesting is how many iconic women there are here in Houston. Oh, my goodness. On the tour itself, we have over 158 Houston women in law, business, space, medicine, finance, the arts, philanthropy, politics, you name it. Uh, we don't really talk a lot about the contributions in women's history in history, and it's an opportunity not just the month of March, but year round, but especially the month of March to focus on it. But whenever I'm with you, I love to pick your brain because this man knows everything about Houston. I mean, you're a walking almanac. So tell us a little bit about some of these iconic women. Well, you know, you got to start with the very beginning, okay? okay? One of the founders of Houston, here she is, Charlotte Baldwin Allen. Uh, there's a beautiful hotel in downtown Houston that graces her name. Now the C. Yeah. Baldwin Hotel, the former Doubletree. But uh, you know, she really was the one who laid some of the original foundation for Houston. You know, the Allen brothers are wonderful. They started our city, but they didn't stay as long as she did. Over 60 years, she called Houston home. And you know, it's a it's a fair statement. All the women that we talk about on the bus tour and at the Heritage Society as well, you look at the history of civilization. Every, you know, the first parks, the first churches, the first schools, the first libraries, the first museums, the first, you know, uh, hospitals are all founded by women. That's amazing. They're the ones that have made those contributions to the quality of life of every single city in our nation and quite possibly every civilization out there. And we think about it deeply. So Charlotte Baldwin Allen, mother of Houston, you know, we just celebrated 120 yeah. years of the library. The Houston Public Library System, you know, goes back to 1904 officially with the uh, Carnegie Library building and the very first librarian, Julia Ideson, her legacy is uh, being uh, featured on, on the tour itself and at the Heritage Society uh, with the houses that we have there as well as we talk about all women's history and the legacy. So she's a Remarkable. And the library is still run by a woman, Dr. Ray Lawson, for example, still at the head of the library. So just amazing stories on board the bus and in the Heritage Society tours that we do as well. And who is this? This is a very important lady. She's the reason why we have air-conditioned office buildings in Houston. Amen. This, this is, <laughs> This is Millie Esperson, okay, and she took a chance. She actually developed, uh, first and foremost, the 1927 Esperson Building in downtown Houston, that beautiful, iconic building with that cupola on top. It really kind of sparkles in our skyline, one of the older buildings that we have. But in 1941, she did Houston's first fully air-conditioned office building. Now, there were other air-conditioned spaces, movie theaters, for example, in the teens and 20s, but not like this air-conditioned office building. So she kind of made that, made that leap of forward to make that happen. So as a female developer, real estate developer, we don't often think about their legacy, uh, but she was very instrumental in that. And there's just women all over. The first hospitals, uh, the oldest hospital in Houston, you know, St. Joseph's Hospital, founded by the nuns, oh is still goodness. operating today, 1887. So history's all around us, and we bring it to life on board the bus. That's what's so great about this particular experience is as you're riding around Houston, you're going to see where these sites happened as we're driving around the bus and the Heritage Society with their amazing homes. You know, we've got four historic homes on these tours that we offer, and you're going to learn about these intimate stories 
stories of these ladies uh, going back to the you know start of the uh, the 20th century and beyond. And is there one woman that really sticks with you? Probably uh, Emma Richardson Cherry. That's one of the uh, one of the houses that people really gravitate towards because it actually has her studio upstairs. So you'll get to see where she taught lessons to school kids inside that house. Or or maybe even it's Zariah Noble's 1847 Kellum Noble house. This is the oldest house in Houston wow. that was home to the Houston Zoo, the Houston Parks Department when it was founded. It was also home to one of the earliest schools that we had in our city. So again, quality of life is always connected to the contribution of women coming together and it's just a rare opportunity uh, on board the bus. We, we save the month of, of March and so as we extend it over to April as well at the Heritage Society and uh, with the bus on showcasing women's history. Uh, we can do it year round but really want to make sure people take advantage of this Girl Scout group. Spring break's coming up. Yeah. You know, get young people involved and, and it's also good for men to learn about this tour as well. Exactly. Uh, yeah, they should learn about the contributions of women so they can uh, better uh, articulate a full history of Houston, a full history of the legacy of these amazing people. Well, we have the information. Let's show it one more time. Here's the information if you want to take the Houston History Bus, which I really recommend. And then we have the information if you want to go see the house tours. So it's really great. If you have not been to the Heritage Society, it really is a gem in our city. Yeah, we got to support these local museums. Yeah. You know, there's been recently the, the two amazing museums here in Houston are, are no longer going to be around after the month of April, which is mm. really shocking, folks, because we are a great tourist destination city. You want to come to this city. Great events happening here. Got to support these local museums. The Harris Society is celebrating 70 years this year, okay? Think about oh, that. Geez. So it deserves another look-see if you haven't been in a while. Come out and check out the Heritage Society of these grazing homes and the bus. And the bus. The bus is amazing. It's not every day you get a ride on this bus. Mr. McKinney, I always love having you on. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and making sure that we continue to grow as Houstonians. And I have to say, Ito, have you been on the Houston History Bus? No, I really want to go on one. I, I want to know if Barbara Bush is on that tour. She is. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. The Fifth Ward legacy person also because of the new, the, the, the uh, statue that now graces right. her over at the post, uh, the old post office. So, yeah, you're right. And we need good weather, too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's coming our way. Maybe not the end of the week. <laughs> Do it this weekend. This weekend? Okay, so Saturday is going to be breezy. Sunday is not going to be too bad. But we got to talk about today. Okay, I know you guys, some of you may not know who this person is. Oh, those off. I How didn't can you know. Forget that mug? I didn't know. You didn't know who that was? I don't know. Jelly Roll. Don't, uh, Mr. McKinney, do you know who this is? You know, actually, when I, I was on Jimmy Kimball, I actually, he, was, he was in the show with us when we were doing Jimmy Kimball, so that was really cool. Was well, he nice? Yeah, he was very kind. So I'm kind. the uncool person in the room, I guess. Well, was, in case you guys didn't know, Jelly Roll is actually performing tonight. He is one of the highest ticket sales for Rodeo Houston. And if you're going out to the rodeo today, it's also Community Day. So that's going to be talking more about that here in just a minute. But here's a look at your forecast out at Rodeo Houston. Today, midday, 76 degrees, mostly cloudy skies by the this afternoon, we're going to still see some cloud cover, but temperatures are going to be climbing into those low 80s. And then for tonight, we're going to continue to see some mild conditions. We're going to be around 70 degrees as you leave the Jelly Roll uh, concert. So you may want to have, um, I don't know if you want to wear a light little sweater with 68. What do you think, Maggie? 68 sweater weather? I say so. Okay, especially I love a good spring cardigan. I'm here for okay, it. Okay, yes. And so I love a good jean jacket. Yeah, and so I'm sure Jelly Roll fans are watching right now. The Just Jelly Roll. We're, that's how I want to say. A nice it. little jean jacket. <laughs> well, right now we are still hanging on to the cloud cover. We had fog this morning. Don't really think fog is going to be an issue for tomorrow morning, but we are going to continue to see moisture filter into our area with those winds coming in from the south. Right now as you step outside, 69 degrees. Winds of the south southeast at 5 miles per hour. And by tomorrow, we're going to see a little more cloud cover, especially around the coastline. But starting the clock today, this afternoon, we're pretty dry. But as we move into tomorrow morning, you see, there you go, the cloud cover really starts to thicken up. We may see a little shower here and there. We're talking about 20-30%. But then we have a cold front coming in. It starts to make its mark by Thursday evening and then crosses into our area Friday morning. But notice, we're not going to see any thunderstorms. It looks like right now, it looks like it's mainly going to be some isolated showers here and there for Friday morning. But there is the threat of seeing some stronger storms Thursday afternoon. And that's why we have more on what the Storm Prediction Center is saying about those storms on our website, CW39.com. But for right now, I just want to close out with the weekend forecast because I know those 60s, 
They look lovely, right? I'm excited. It's my husband's birthday weekend. I'm excited. I know, but we... Spring What's wrong? Forward. It's spring forward. I know. I already told you he's upset. He's missing an hour of he's his birthday. He's missing an hour of anything. But, <laughs> just, but if you're with me, we celebrate for like a month. I love I to celebrate. Know. I remember when I was growing up as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I I had like a birthday party in the backyard with a piñata and like a couple of kids from the neighborhood came over. And now kids nowadays, my kids, yeah. the crews. Now they want to go to Urban Air. Okay. They want me to bring cupcakes to Skew. Like, oh my goodness. Well, you saw me. You were at May's first birthday. That was all. beautiful. <laughs> it was, but I was exhausted. I already have the theme for. But it was one day. Birthday. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but if you're with me, we celebrate everything. My dad's always like, it looks like Christmas. But my great nana, no matter how much money they didn't have, she always was about celebrating because life's too short. So you've got to celebrate. And your birthday is your special day. So. Applause to that. Just saying that. Maybe some <laughs> people are going to the rodeo to see Jelly Roll. Um, I was looking Oop. up the name of his song. I was forgetting about it. And it's Need a Favor. Look it up. You'll know it. You'll know it. I'll okay. tell you more. Okay. All right, stay tuned. We're checking in with Seth after the break. Hey, I'm Rick James, and you're watching Houston Happens on CW39. You and I... Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Who can you call when you need immediate help? Any time of day or night, even when you're hundreds of miles away from home. Always giving you and your family peace of mind. Knowing that people, benefits, and services are there for you 24-7. Over 50 million members rely on AAA. America's largest motor club and most highly recommended major roadside assistance provider. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire, or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Call AAA today and find out how much you can save. We're Ram, and when trucks are what you do, you do truck month better than anyone else. You do trucks that work harder and play harder. And you do trucks that win by breaking every rule of what a truck should be. So this truck month, what you should do is drive a Ram. Trucks are what we do. Now get 10% below MSRP for an average of 7,500 under MSRP on the purchase of select 2024 Ram 1500 trucks. Crafting the perfect latte portrait? Mm, that takes skill. Ordering lottery tickets on your phone, that just takes Jackpocket. Jackpocket makes playing lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions so easy that all you need to know is Jack. <gasps> hey, I just won $200. Congrats, girl. Jackpocket. All you need to know is Jack. We want to be sure about our children's health. The pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress. Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. Welcome back to Houston Happens. New technology is constantly being developed that can make life easier. And joining us today, I get so excited when she's here with us, is tech life expert, friend of the show, Stephanie Humphrey, to share some new tech that is not only cool, but girl, it is functional. So thank you for waking up with us. Thank you so much for having me, Maggie. I'm always happy to be here. Whenever I see you, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to hear what you have to share. So in Get your... that notebook out, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got it. So in your experience, how is technology making life easier? 
Well, I've been on network TV for over 10 years, helping people sort of understand and make the most of technology, whether it's showing them how to save some money with uh, an app or stay safe online with my book, Don't Let Your Digital Footprint Kick You in the Butt. And I have a few cool ideas today that I think folks are going to like, too. All right. Now, I always like to say I'm a bala on a budget. So can you yeah. recommend <laughs> tech to help manage our finances? I hate the word budget, but can you help me out? Well, listen, a firm is one of the best ways to ball out on a budget because it's going to help you avoid breaking the bank when you're buying all the stuff that you need because it's going to allow you to pay responsibly over time with no late or hidden fees ever. You can use a firm at checkout on Amazon or Priceline, the Real Real, lots more websites, or you can use the Affirm app to create a virtual card and then you choose the payment plan that works best for you. Shop uh, anywhere virtually, whether you're getting headphones or booking your summer travel a firm is a really great way to keep all those purchases on track and on budget okay I'm here for that I know my husband will like to keep on budget all right what about a yes. tech upgrade for our entertainment system well, we're streaming all the things, so your TV should be just as awesome as all that great content that you're watching, right? And the Roku Plus Series TV has bright pictures and incredible sound. Plus, it comes with the number one selling TV operating system in the U.S. and Mexico, making it just as easy to use and get to the content you love. You get cinematic picture quality with 4K and the ability to, con to connect to other smart devices in your house. So this one is a must-have for if you're thinking about upgrading your home tech. All right, well, my husband's a gadget guy, so he wants to hear this. Are there any other customizable tech devices that can enhance your home experience? Yeah, he is going to love this one. I have it. It is super cool. It's the GE LED Plus speaker and color bulb, and it's a super simple way to bring beautiful, customizable color and amazing surround sound to any space with no app needed. You're going to connect the bulb seamlessly to your Bluetooth-enabled devices, but then you control it with a remote control, so you can adjust the lighting and the sound, and you can get rid of all those bulky speakers and cluttered cords, no tangled cords or anything else but really immerse yourself in your favorite music or podcast and some of that color therapy for you as well. And this one is available on uh, Target and Target.com. All right. I'm so excited. Where can we go for more on all of these products? For um, info on everything we talked about, you can visit TipsOnTV.com. Well, Stephanie, I can't wait for you to come back on the show. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon, Maggie. Take care. You too. Always love having her. You can get all those products over on our website, CW39.com. Well, believe it or not, we're about halfway through Rodeo Houston's 20-day run. And today, out at NRG Park, is a special one. So our resident cowboy, yeah, my favorite, Seth with the good hair. He's joining us live from the Midway, one of the rodeo's two carnivals, to tell us all about Community Day. Do you have on your boots, Seth? <laughs> Maggie, I'm letting you down once again. I am so we sorry. We called it. Producer Lou and I were like, he's going to be in the polo. I, I just don't uh, do enough for you guys, obviously. I need to pick up my game a lot. You look lot. very handsome, but we're Next taking time. you shopping. We're taking you shopping. I'm going to get you in some, like, spurs uh, and a big old buckle. Spur. Okay. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll start at boots I'm gonna and get go you from chaps. there. I'm going to get you some chaps. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. That, that could be a good look for me, too. We'll, we'll dress me up. I'll be like your Ken doll, for sure. <laughs> All right, noted. Well, let me tell you about Community Day, Maggie, before we get too carried away in what I am or am not wearing. Uh, yeah, definitely an awesome day to get out of here. You can get deals. If you're looking for cheap thrills, this is the day to do it. Community Day, it means free admission to the rodeo grounds. And what do I mean by rodeo grounds? Where I am right now, the Midway, which is the part of the carnival that's meant for adults and uh, older children. But there's also, there's that, uh, the junction over there. That's for the little kids. That's also something you're going to, be able to access for free today. And then, then there's also Energy Center. That's where the livestock portion of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is going on. But back out at the carnival, not only is admission free to the rodeo grounds today, there are also some discounts going on. Rides and games will be BOGO. Buy one, get one free until four this afternoon. And there are a few of the food and drink stands offering some specials. Now, rodeo leaders say Community Day is the perfect way to save a little money while still enjoying what the rodeo has to offer. 
it's an opportunity for people who maybe have never come to the rodeo or are waiting or possibly have bigger families because it can add up right to come free of charge before noon so we're offering anyone to come enjoy the rodeo and everything it has to offer before noon and they can get in for free well, Community Day does mean that free admission until noon and those deals on rides and games and some food and drinks until 4 this afternoon. You will have to buy tickets at regular price for the rodeo itself tonight. And the same goes for tonight's concert featuring the performer Jelly Roll. Maggie, I heard you talking about him earlier. He's not quite you what you think of when you first think of a country music singer, but he's very popular, so his show's popping off tonight. But you yeah. can get in here free until noon, so you still got a couple of hours to go for that. So fun day at the rodeo, even without boots. Hey, do you like uh, to ride the rides? Are you a roller coaster guy? I get dragged on the scariest of rides. My girlfriend's a thrill seeker, um, but I scream like a little girl. On oh my them. gosh! It's, Funny and story. I laugh too hysterically. Yeah. My mom and I got kicked off a ride for screaming too loud once. What? True this story. What's all about? Come it's on. a true story. We were screaming. They thought we were in a torture chamber. So, but I love <laughs> roller coasters. My husband, not so much. I, I have to drag him too. Well, when we take May, when she's older, yeah, he'll be on the corner watching, holding our bags. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Seth. I'll still get you some boots, honey. Well, if you are going to Bun B's All American Takeover on Tuesday, then you're gonna. Shake it like a sh salt shaker, I should say. The Houston rap legend has actually announced he is bringing, oh yes, the Ying Yang Twins on stage at the Houston Rodeo. It's going to be trill. And this one has Sharon and Kerrigan contemplating breaking their bedtime. I think all of us might have a late night out. The Ying Yang Twins are coming. They are not actually twins. Fun fact. They're a duo from Atlanta that debuted in the 2000s. That makes me seem kind of old. And rose into mainstream with the song, Get Low, Get Low, Get Low, Get Low. Yeah, Ito, I'm gonna show you about that. <laughs> Bun B says the American Takeover is a rodeo tradition that began with a focus on H-Town in 2022, but now is all about going nationwide. So far, performers joining the Trill Burgers founder include Nelly, is he still wearing that Band-Aid? Rick Ross, E-40, that Mexican OT, and Too Short. Oh, we can't wait. Hey, what's up? This is Bum B, the Trill OG, repping UGK and Trill Burgers, and you're watching Houston Happens on CW39, baby. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson. It's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in, WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support. And answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions. And a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Numbers move you, but some can stop you in your tracks, like the tens of thousands of people who were diagnosed with certain HPV-related cancers. For most people, HPV clears on its own. But for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain diseases caused by HPV, including cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back of mouth cancers and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and does not treat cancer or HPV infection. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Women still need routine cervical cancer screenings. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you've had an allergic reaction to the vaccine, its ingredients, or are allergic to yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect what counts. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist about Gardasil 9. When you're involved in a car wreck, you hope the insurance company will make your problems go away, but they won't. Call Simmons & Fletcher today at 1-800-JUSTICE. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. 
I was driving home from church and a drunk driver smashed into my car and I was really scared because I had never been in an accident like that before. I'm really glad that I called Jim Adler because I was able to get a new car, have my medical expenses covered. I would definitely recommend calling Jim Adler just because it was so convenient, it was so easy. They take care of everything. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and you can count on me to fight for you. Call today, 713-777-4000. Well, in case you decide to try the Sleepy Girl Mocktail, I think you're going to need a good show or movie to pair with it. That always knocks me out. Dean Richards tells us what's new on your streaming platforms. I don't trust them. They may be royalty, but that doesn't make them good people. For new movies this week, Stranger Things, Millie Bobby Brown plays a commoner who marries a prince but has to survive being sacrificed to a fire-breathing dragon to pay an ancient debt. Robin Wright co-stars in Damsel on Netflix starting Friday. The mystery comedy action movie Argyle debuts this week on premium video on demand platforms. Bryce Dallas Howard, Henry Cavill, Brian Cranston, Samuel L. Jackson, Sam Rockwell, and Alfie the Cat all-star. One of the biggest hits of this past holiday season hit streaming platforms this week. It's the charming world of pure imagination with the new Wonka starring Timothy Chalamet as the legendary Candyman. Catch it on Max starting Friday. Ridley Scott's epic Napoleon starring Joaquin Phoenix is now on Apple TV+. And the cast of the Nickelodeon action comedy series, The Thundermans Reunite for The Thundermans Return. See it starting tomorrow on Paramount+. Plus. I didn't create this problem. I'm trying to help you deal with it. Starting tomorrow, Guy Ritchie's quirky crime saga, The Gentleman, is reimagined as a new Netflix series as a son inherits his father's country estate and enters a life of crime. Kate Winslet is a dictator desperately trying to hold on to power. Hugh Grant co-stars in the political satire The Regime on Max Now. And the comedy Extraordinary follows a late-blooming 20-something in a world where teens develop superpowers, but she still hasn't gotten her hers. Season two is on Hulu now. 47 different kinds of mosquitoes. Now I'm really excited about this trip. <laughs> also new this week is SCTV and Schitt's Creek star Eugene Levy going out of his comfort zone, going to and trying things he'd usually not. Season two of The Reluctant Traveler begins streaming on Apple TV Plus Friday and Queens tells the story of matriarchs and female leaders of some of the world's most surprising species.